What's going on creators? We have a new and free plugin. It's called Crates Chromatic Aberration. It's available for both Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Once you install the LaForge suite, you can find the production crate filter folder. I'll toggle down that arrow and here I can see Chromatic Aberration. You'll see these other plugins as well. These are pro plugins, but this plugin is completely free to use. I'm gonna just drag this onto my clip and instantly we see this beautiful, fringing, colorful, chromatic aberration. I'll select my plugin over here in the effects controls panel and just move it around and you can see how fast this plugin actually is. You can adjust things like the aberration strength, the scale, the radial factor, woo, 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 super trippy. And if you ever start to see these striations here, you can even adjust the steps to really smooth them out. Or if you want, try decreasing them for some kind of like trippy retro looks. For now, I'll just reset this. The basic default effect is what you're probably gonna end up using most often. I'll just bring down that aberration a little bit just so we get a little bit of this colorful fun fringing at the edges of the lens here. You can also use chromatic aberration as a transition. So I have these two clips in the sequence. Dude's off to, I don't know, pay his parking meter or something. Takes off and I wanna add a little fun action transition. I'll do that by creating a new adjustment layer and dragging that onto my timeline. Let's just zoom in here. I want this transition to be pretty fast. I'll line up my playhead to that cut, and then I'll apply the chromatic aberration effect to that adjustment layer. I'll set a keyframe for my scale, maybe crank that into the negative, and then I'll just move my playhead where I want my transition to start. Then I'll set the scale to 100, go to where I want my transition to end, and set my scale to 100. Then I could just set my aberration to zero. And we'll see this pretty cool chromatic aberration transition effect. It's looking pretty good, but I'm gonna speed things up. So I'll select my adjustment layer and I'll just bring these keyframes closer together. Let's play that back. There we have a nice flashy little action transition. You could even do interesting things where you keyframe the center point. Just move the center point around to kind of follow our guy. Almost like he's being spied upon. That just gives it like, almost like we're looking through binoculars or some other long lens kind of thing. Anyway, there's a ton of cool stuff you can do with this plugin. It's super powerful and it's free to use. Remember, you have to go and install LaForge. You can do that by installing the Production Crate Portal. We have both the Windows and the Mac option available. Once you install Portal, go ahead and launch it. Then sign into your account and you'll see all of our tools and then just install the LaForge suite. And hey, it looks like we have a new update. It's one of the coolest things about Portal. You can download, install, and even update the LaForge suite and these other awesome tools that we have. If you want to try out Crate's Chromatic Aberration, there is a link to LaForge in the description below. You can register for a new account after you have downloaded Portal or you can register for free We'll put a link for that in the description as well. And if you want all of these amazing, powerful plugins that come into the LaForge suite, sign up for a Production Crate Pro membership. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.